3D scanners are useful tools for professionals in a number of applications, including reverse engineering, ensuring part fit within existing designs, inspections, digitizing historical artifacts, and scanning of faces for orthodontic and dental applications. I'm here to walk you through the entire 3D scanning process using the new handheld EinScan HX 3D scanner, a hybrid blue laser LED 3D scanner. If you're gonna be scanning things like hair, you're gonna to wanna to use the EinScan H, which is a little bit different model from this one. Keep in mind, 3D scanning can sometimes require a lot of processing power. Therefore, make sure that your computer meets or exceeds the processing requirements needed by your 3D scanner. A calibration board and targets are gonna be needed in this process. We'll touch on those a little bit later, but know that both of these are gonna be included with your EinScan 3D scanner. If this is your first time using the 3D scanner or you've recently updated your 3D scanning software, it is recommended that you perform the calibration process. The EinScan software will walk you through every step. Just be sure to orient the 3D scanner as shown on the screen and use the provided calibration board. The HX has two scan modes, rapid scan and laser scan. Rapid scan will need minimal model preparation and will work for most parts, while the laser mode will be best for more accurate results and or models with shiny surfaces. We are going to be placing targets on the model. These targets are used when parts have minimal features or large smooth faces that lack features for the scanner to align to. Parts with repetitive features or patterns may confuse the scanner and will also require targets. All you will need to do is place them two to six inches apart in a random fashion. You can also place the targets on a table or a board and place your object on it. The scanner will use these as reference points, achieving the same goal as placing them on the model without covering some of the details of the part. Now that you are finished with the model preparation, you are ready to begin the scanning process. Avoid super bright rooms or having the scanner directly facing a light source. Start by clicking the play button to start previewing and adjust the brightness based on your environment. Use the indicator lights to maintain an optimal scanning distance. When you are at the perfect distance, the indicator on the back of the scanner and in the software will both show green. If you go too far, the light and the software will be blue and the software will make a noise. If you get too close, the indicator lights will turn red and also be signaled by a noise. Move the scanner around the object and rotate to help get different angles. If you need to turn the object, pause the scanner and move it to a better position before resuming. Now that you have scanned your object and generated your point cloud data, you can then generate the mesh of your 3D scan. If you're planning on using scan data for reverse engineering or QC, you can export an unwatertight mesh, but for 3D printing, you'll need to make sure that your model is watertight. Thanks for watching this Dynamism Tech Session. If you'd like to learn more, please check out the links in the description or visit us at dynamism.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this one.